Deserts are lonely, barren places that have become the setting for numerous tales of horror, sinister mysteries, and unexpected encounters with spooky creatures. It may seem as if the arid wastelands of the desert were completely devoid of life. However, not only life is hidden among the never-ending expanses of scrub and sand dunes, but there are also lots of reports and testimonies which show that creepy and unknown creatures inhabit this place. The Yucca Man, Giant Snakes, Aliens, these are seven expeditions to the desert that encountered spooky creatures. Number 7. The Alien Harvest With their bleak scrubs and sand dunes, deserts look like a barren realm similar to the surface of another planet, so alien encounters are a must-have here. In May of 1980, there was a strange encounter which took place in the remote desert near Cimarron, New Mexico. The witnesses were a woman and her eight-year-old son who were driving through the desert and saw three strange lights in the open landscape near a cattle ranch. They were able to see some large objects whose windows showed there was light inside. After that, they apparently fainted, but the woman could remember what had happened to her out there in that lonely place. According to her, she had been gripped by a stifling fear and was captured by four inhuman entities, three of them troll-like and greenish in color, and the other a taller, hairless being with a high forehead and large, beautiful eyes, and he seemed to be the leader. The woman claimed that the taller one touched her, which caused her a tingling, burning pain as if it were a hot iron. Then she was moved into their ship, where she found her son deeply asleep. The aliens allegedly began a medical examination of her. Inside the ship, she could also see that other green creatures wearing brown clothing were dissecting a cow which was still alive and gurgling in pain. Eventually, she was taken to another room along with other pale white entities. Her memory then brought her to the desert again, but this time she was in an underground facility populated by more of the pale beings and where she found a vat filled of gelatinous liquid holding a horrific collection of animal and human body parts. The next thing she remembers after that is to be sitting safely back in her car with her son, who doesn't remember any of the things his mother told, just because he had peacefully slept through it all. Isn't this one of the weirdest stories you've ever heard? Weird, to say the least. Number 6. Borrego Sasquatch one of the unseen dangers lurking within the desert are the mysterious creatures, sometimes malicious, that stalk through land. In the desert of a place called Borrego Sink, California, there have been reported numerous encounters between men and a mystery beast. People talk about an aggressive variety of Bigfoot known as Borrego Sasquatch. One of those encounters took place in 1939 when a man was camping alone in one of the many dry gulches of the area. The man was awoken in the middle of the night by a band of two-legged hairy creatures which circled the camp menacingly for some time. The beasts were described as having white or silver fur and possessed piercing red eyes that glowed in the dark. Thirty years later, in the same region, a man named Harold Lancaster suffered another encounter with such beasts. He described how an enormous, hair-covered bipedal creature stalked out of the wilderness and walked straight towards him in an intimidating way. Lancaster, fearing that he could be attacked, fired his revolver into the air in order to scare the monster, and it did the trick. Whatever the creature was, it's clear that the desert is a strange place to find a Bigfoot. Number 5. Yucca Man one of the most bizarre and unsolved cases of a desert humanoid creature of some sort is an enormous beast that has come to be known as the Yucca Man. The legend seems to originate in the 1960s near the 29 Palms military base located in the Mojave Desert, California. In this remote location, there would be a series of events that has remained unexplained for decades and that is related to some sort of desert roaming humanoid entity. The first sighting that was considered as an important one occurred in 1971, when a marine from the base reported hearing something out in the desert scrub which sounded like a heavy breathing from some very large creature, as well as grunts and growls seemingly circling his guard station. He decided to go out of the base and investigate, and he found a gigantic 8-foot-tall hairy ape-like creature with glowing eyes. In some versions, the marine was knocked down by the beast and its rifle was twisted and bent like a pretzel. 
Since the 1970s, when the Mojave Desert base expanded from its World War II encampment, there have been regular reports of new recruits terrorized by both the Yucca Man and pranks inspired by the tales. But most sightings of the spectral creature come from campers and hikers at Joshua Tree National Park. Tents have been opened in the night by stinking monstrosities, and there is an occasional large footprint or blurry photograph submitted as evidence. Even the natives who lived in California long before European colonization considered these creatures to be supernatural entities, with names that often translated to hairy devils. They took care to avoid the gloomy spots where the devils were often seen. Is Yucca Man related to Bigfoot? Number 4. The Miner Ghosts also have a place in this list. One of the scarier phantoms of the desert appeared for the first time between Superstition Mountain and 17 Palms, Arizona in the 1800s. The creature takes on the appearance of an 8-foot-tall glowing skeleton with a lantern in its chest. The witness was a prospector named Charlie Arizona. He was settling down in his camp for the night when he heard his donkey acting up on the edge of the camp. When the man went to investigate, he reportedly saw a huge skeleton with a lantern glowing through its ribcage shambling about the desert. The sinister apparition was described as seemingly looking for something among the scrub brush. After that, the skeleton was seen several more times by people camping out in the desert. But two brave adventurous young men decided to actually go out in search of the thing. After spending three nights in the desert looking for it, the glowing ghost skeleton finally appeared out in the desert wandering around aimlessly, at first making itself known as merely a bobbing, inexplicable light, but clearly the specter on closer inspection. The two men allegedly followed the skeleton for three miles before they lost the phantom in a canyon. Locals believe that the ghostly skeleton was the spirit of a miner looking for his lost secret mine, probably that of Pegleg Smith a lost mine full of gold that has been the quarry of many ultimately failed expeditions to find it. Number 3. Creepy Alien Another strange case involving some sort of humanoid creature comes from the deserts of the Mexican state of Chihuahua. At the beginning of 1990, a group of teenagers was exploring the caves of a place called Cerro Pajarito when something tried to hunt them. They were inside of a cave and the group found a dead deer and a doe that were freshly killed. Besides, the corpse had three odd perforations on their necks that formed a triangular pattern. In the surrounding area, there were footprints that looked like those of a puma, but it soon became apparent that no puma had done this. The group suddenly heard blood-curdling squealing sounds and the air became pervaded by a stench described as smelling like burning wood. Crouched upon a rock, they saw a humanoid figure outcropping about 15 meters away from them. The creature apparently started running towards them and the group ran for dear life. But killer Sasquatch and weird humanoid entities are not the only ones said to terrorize the world's deserts. Moving across the world to the Sahara Desert, we find bizarre stories of giant desert snakes prowling the wasteland in the desert's northern reaches. Number 2. Giant Snakes Desert nomads of the area have long spoken of enormous monstrous serpents up to 4 meters long, known to the locals as Teguerga, which are said to be venomous and capable of devouring goats, sheep, and even camels. In the 50s, a large number of incidents lined to giant snakes were reported by nomads who appealed urgently for help. A French army detachment was allegedly sent out into the desert near a place called Beni Unif in order to track down the beast. According to the reports, the French faced a snake that was 65 feet long, so large that they needed to use machine gun fire to kill it. The skin was allegedly kept but was later lost. This is not the only reported skin of the creatures to have been found. In the same area, a local man allegedly shot and killed a snake measuring around 15 feet long that had horns and a crest of hair on its head. In 1967, another giant mystery snake was seen again by Hamza Rahmani, a bulldozer operator that was working on the construction of a dam in Morocco and spotted a 29 feet long snake with some hair on its head that was eating engine grease. The man allegedly rammed the thing with the bulldozer blade and killed it, but it is not known what happened to the body of the animal. The construction site was apparently a popular haunt for the creatures because several more were subsequently seen in the vicinity. 
a 32 meters long snake with horns that was seen in 1968, and 49 feet long one spotted in 1969. Nowadays, the giant snakes continue to be a mystery as no bodies were found since the appearance of the first Taguerga. Number 1. Goat Sucker The Goat Sucker, also known as Chupacabra in Spanish, is a legendary creature that reportedly terrorizes the southwestern US, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. The name comes from the animal's reported habit of attacking and drinking the blood of livestock, including goats. Physical descriptions of the creature vary. It is purportedly a heavy creature, the size of a small bear, with a row of spines reaching from the neck to the base of the tail. However, others insist the animal is smaller and hairless. Almost everyone can agree that it has large fangs and legs jointed like a kangaroo. The first reported attack eventually attributed to the creature occurred in Puerto Rico in March 1995. Eight sheep were discovered dead each with three puncture wounds in the chest area and reportedly completely drained of blood. A few months later in August, an eyewitness, Madeline Tolentino, reported seeing the creature in the Puerto Rican town of Canovanas, when as many as 150 farm animals and pets were reportedly killed. And that was only the beginning of a large list of sightings related to the goat sucker. Initially, it was suspected that the killings were committed by a satanic cult. Later, more killings were reported around the island and many farms reported loss of animal life. According to the way this creature kills, some similarities to the monster which supposedly attacked a group of teenagers in a cave and that we have previously mentioned can be found. Was the chupacabra the creature which wanted to devour those guys? What are these entities that we have looked at here? And how or why do they manage to remain in this forbidding landscape? No one knows. Here in the most unforgiving terrain on Earth, there lie enigmas and horrors that will perhaps forever remain in const in the dusty sands of this huge understood realm. Apart from these creepy creatures, there are more legends about man-eating monsters in our world. Would you like to know them? Take a look at the following video.